Hi guys, today I'll show you how you can make this trickshot system for your UEFN map. The trickshot system is infinitely expandable, so you can add as many levels as you want. You also get granted some guns, and also has recognition if you shot in the bullseye, or if you shot in the other part. So let's see, I try to shoot in the bullseye. As you see, I got a perfect shot right here. So I get that message, and I also get teleported to the next level. And then right here, I'll try to shoot in the great shot. And normally I would be teleported to the next level right now, but I haven't added any more levels. I'll show you that all today for free in this tutorial. We got this idea to make the system because uh, UE Fentrans sent us an email and they mentioned that the trickshot maps are totally back and they're having a lot of success of players. So we saw that and we knew that you guys want to create up-to-date systems. So that's why we decided to create this system. This is no promotion, but if you guys are interested in uh, UE Fentrans, uh, I think they have a, a Discord and they're currently in uh, private beta. Quickly, before the video begins, check out our products in our Patreon store, Premium Systems, where you only have to worry about the environment. So, once we are in UEFN, so just create yourself a new project, and then once you're in UEFN, uh, these are the two levels I created, just to show you. Um, first thing I want to say is that in here you have three different meshes. These are basically just triggers. So they are triggers with a mesh over them. As you see, a mesh. So let's first start by creating, of course, create your level, but I won't explain this in this video because it's yeah, just being creative. Then uh, place yourself down a trigger. So we'll place down a trigger. We'll rotate it slightly. And I think I made it a bit larger here. No, I didn't, okay. So then we go Normally this is fully closed or you can barely see it. Just drag this open and go to mesh. And then from here you can, instead of a static mesh, you can scroll down and you can make it a cylinder. As you see right here. Uh, if the cylinder from you is different, basically what you have to do is go here to modeling mode and then select cylinder, place it down here make it the perfect size that you want. So we first accept it. Then we go over to the transform tool and we make it a bit thinner like this. And we simply save it. As you'll see, this is called cylinder five, eight, blah, blah, blah. So if you go back to your trigger that I just uh, made another cylinder, I will normally be able to find my cylinder five, eight, here it is and it will change that cylinder. As you see, it's uh, not the correct length. That's because we uh, remodeled, we made some changes to the cylinder, but we didn't bake them. So if you go back to the cylinder, make sure you're still on modeling mode, and then go to X form, then you can do bake transform and accept. And then if we go to our trigger right now, you'll see it is actually changed into uh, this cylinder right here. So this is how I made these three cylinders and I just yeah, gave them a color uh, again by going to the mesh uh, elements and you can simply search for, let's say uh, I want to have a yellow bullseye, just search up yellow and click on here and it will be yellow. If you want to make, if you want to make this any bigger, you can scale it from here. So from the trigger, or you could also go back here to your uh, original model. And then if you're again in X form, just scale it up as you wish and then bake transform. So make sure you've placed down uh, these three. So this will be the amazing shot, the nice shot and the, uh, the perfect shot, the mm, good shot and the nice shot, let's say. And then you can go to our discord in the description below. From there, you'll need an other important part. So if you go to our description, join our Discord, in there you will find the code for the system for the trickshot. So you can basically make your tri trickshot map real quick. What we'll do is we'll make sure our verse explorer is open. I already got it in here, uh, but just simply create a new verse file, uh, create an empty one. So create new verse file, create empty, name it something like trickshot system. The name doesn't really matter, but if you have other folders in your map, this can help you organize stuff and then put it in there. 
just by uh, control V in this folder. So then uh, once you did verse and build verse code, you'll normally have to save some things. Then we can go over to our folder and in here you'll see there's a trick shot device. Just simply place this one down in your map um, and you can make this a bit larger so you can actually see. What we made for you guys here is a simple device where you can add everything so you only have to worry about decorating your map and actually making your map pretty. So what we'll do is we'll add first our player spawners. So uh, for this island I have two player spawners so I'll add two. So this is these are two arrays. I'll first with the with this guy or you can go from here from the player spawners. I select all my player spawners. Next up is the weapon settings. In here you can simply add an uh, item granter and then you add how many weapons are in that item granter. So if we go to our Fortnite and we place down an item granter and we connect it like this, you can simply say okay uh, in this item granter, so in the item list, uh, on grant action you just need to make sure um, you clear inventory and grant current item. You can add in this item granter you can add say eight weapons you can simply fill them in like this um, like an assault rifle let's go um, and then simply add if you added all the weapons add eight here and it will constantly shuffle through all these weapons so it's an easy way for people to be less bored in your map and constantly have a new weapon when they respawn and then the next thing in our device is all level settings so in here you will basically be able to uh, add how many levels you want. So right now I made two levels as you see. So I, I'm going to add two uh, arrays here. So one and two. In here, if you open them up, you have a level teleport you constantly have to add. So I made this one right here. Again, go to your Fortnite, place down the teleport from here. And just make sure it's uh, on group A and group A. And uh, you can make this invisible so people don't know there's actually a teleporter there. And the visual effect, you can play around with that. Um, these are basic uh, teleporter settings. Um, and then we'll check what n we have to do next. We have to make the perfect shot trigger. So this is the middle one I made. So this was uh, this one. Uh, and then the great shot trigger, this is this one, and the nice shot trigger, and this one. Then we'll also add a bottom zone. This will make it easy for players um, to respawn. If they fall in this mutated zone, they will be spawned back into the teleporter and will be granted another weapon to try again. So just place down a mutator device, a mutator zone uh, from here. Place it down, make sure it covers the whole area, as you see I did here with the green. And then you can go back to your device. And in there, you can uh, select this bottom zone as the muted zone. Okay. And then you can do the same for your next level. And if you have like 100 levels, you'll have 100 arrays here and 100 different settings you can make. The last thing we'll go over is the HUD settings. This is uh, basically to uh, have a visual output. So as you saw in the trailer in the beginning, I got uh, a shot in the middle. And from there, I got a perfect shot uh, on my screen. So we'll simply add HUDs. So this is just a HUD message device. In the HUD message device, you can change the message. So let's say perfect shot. And... Um, will make the background color nothing, let's say. Um, you can also change all the settings here. Just important that you, here in the message recipient, that you have triggering player instead of all, so it doesn't appear for all the players in your map, but just this one player that gets the message. You can change the placement or, or even other settings like the animations uh, or text color, but I won't go over that. That's something you have to experiment with yourself. And then, just create three of these, make sure they're all different messages, and then I'll add them in here. 
and then you're basically done. So again, so then simply save everything, make sure you push changes and uh, or you launch your session and then you can uh, fully create your own trickshot map. So again, guys, the code is for free in the description in our Discord. If you're searching for premium products, we have a lot of premium systems already made. So you simply have to make an environment on our Patreon store. They're good quality. So if you want to support us and let us keep making these videos, these quick informational videos for beginners uh, and also for more advanced people, uh, make sure to check out our Patreon, become a member there. It's free, but also make sure to check out our so shop for our premium system. Okay, thank you guys. I'll stop yapping and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.